Well, happy New Year's Eve. We, it is here upon us. About to go into a new year. Here hanging out with the kitties. Everybody's been just really, hi Zane, lazy today. What's he doing, hmm? What's he doing? Pretty, pretty boy. Um, he loves his fire. But uh, anyway, I, I'm, I'm home <laughs> uh, trying to uh, get better and, and uh, just enjoy the little flurries that have been coming and I've seen come and go out the window and uh, just watching Legend of the Fall and actually the second time now <laughs> and uh, just taking in, reflecting upon the last, this past year, and, um, you know, just, uh, have a lot of things to reflect upon and be grateful for, and also to, glad to hopefully be able to, you know, put those things to rest and start a new year with uh, new ambition, new adventure, um, new sense of peace and hope. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Which brings my, my herein thought to be um, in with the new, out with the old. I say that because we've all heard that saying and in reality there's a lot of things we don't need to be out with the old. We need to maybe take some of those uh, lessons, take some of those mindsets into the new, into the new year. You know, um, some of the hardest lessons we learn, you know, uh, really have great potential for growth and doesn't mean they're easy or that they were fun in the process. But, you know, until we learn that lesson, as opposed to sweeping things under the rug or, or just um, being oblivious and choosing not to deal with things, I believe that a lot of times those things keep cropping up, whether it's into the next week, the next month, the next year, whatever it may be. As well as in with the new. The new year has great possibility, has great... Um, uh, ability to make us stronger, to make us maybe have better choices, to hopefully, you know, help mold us and and make us uh, want to cultivate better choices and ideas and and f due to our free will and as well as the things that maybe we uh, learned from this old year. You know, there's so many things we have to be grateful for and not just, oh my gosh, thank God this year's over, I want to be it over with. I mean, yeah, there's things about this year that I honestly am glad, glad that, you know, the year kind of wraps it up. But at the same time, I want to be conscientious to those things. I want to be appreciative of those hard knocks <laughs> yes, those hard knocks that um, got me to exactly where I'm right now. But we've got to take the good with the bad. We've got to take the um, not so savory with the uh, opportunities of the new year. And just keep a clear mind, uh, a sense of consciousness, of openness, it being wanting to be a tool for something bigger and greater than ourself. Maybe for a cause, maybe for a goal, maybe for whatever purpose it might be that other people can hopefully benefit and learn and grow and share from that. Because that's what, it, I think that's what all of our purpose is about is sharing our strengths and our weaknesses for the common good of not just mankind, but animal kind and, and everything in, in the middle that we all could benefit from. 
that can maybe teach us and try us to our core and give us hope when, when a lot of times we may not feel that there is hope. I know it's hard this for some people right now going through the end of the year. I mean, uh, a dear friend of mine just lost his, you know, his, his partner, his husband and people are going through losses and, and financial hardship and um, uncertainty going into the new year. And we have to just know that there's always gonna be struggles. There's always gonna be things that we consider, we can consider as strife and things that can defeat us or we can choose to hopefully make the most of those circumstances or situations that maybe we're at, they're out of our control, but that we, we have to trust that God's going to see us through them into whatever, not just the new year, but into our life, into our life journey. And so it's not just out with the old and in with the new. It is about, it is all one big puzzle in our, our life that makes us who we are, what we are, and where we are today. And every day is a new day for us to have a brand new canvas to draw, be creative with our mind and thought, and hopefully make a difference and share with others. I hope in the new year, personally, that we will have us at Dowdy Ferry Animal Commission and just across uh, our Dallas and across even the nation that there will be a, a better sense of understanding and respect for animals. Um, that's something dear upon my heart and that you know uh, I'm so grateful for the, the like-minded friends that I have and uh, the people that share in in this mission and this in this belief Jeremy Boss and and all of the other ones that, that that are close to me and that that really had the same belief and that we have to continue to strive to make a difference. We have to, at all costs, not give in to, um, to the things that aren't working, but keep striving to know that knowledge is power and that we can, make a, that we can get, bring about change if we are steadfast about it. And what doesn't work that we just keep tweaking and, and re, analyzing and revamping until we do get it right, until we do get um, the masses involved in wanting to make change. So maybe this year we take the old and revise it and apply it and grow upon that into the new year in whatever your heart's desire, whatever, whatever you hope to attain or, or accomplish, whether it's personal, professional, spiritual, or whatever else. And may we find some happiness in every single day because happiness is an inside job. And life is gonna be what we make it. And so anyway, that's my thought year end, and I hope you know that all your circumstances that have been brought up to this moment are exactly they were exactly put in your life for a reason. And even if you never know those reasons, you have to just be grateful and humble and trust the process and get on your knees in prayer and ask, even when you don't feel like there's a reason to be happy or a reason that things are going to work out, that they are. you got to keep the faith. So anyway, be well, as I'm trying to be. Be safe, uh, have passion in whatever you choose to have, and know that the new year is, is going to have as many opportunities as you choose to, for their, them to be, and in your thought process and how you perceive them. So may we all make a difference in the new year. May we all take the old into the new with gratitude and humility for all. God bless each and every one of you. Thanks for being a part of my journey. Talk at you later.